After days of negotiation and flaring tempers, the Senate has approved a $2 trillion economic stimulus package to help workers and businesses impacted by the coronavirus. Reporter Natalie Brand is at the White House with the late night vote. Congress is one step closer to sending financial relief to American families and businesses hit hard by the coronavirus. The Senate has approved a $2 trillion relief package this evening. We're going to pass this bipartisan relief package, send it over to the House so they can put it on the president's desk. Let's continue to pray for one another, for all of our families, and for our country. Help is on the way. This country, that this Senate, that this government is here for them in a time of dire need. The bill includes a cash payment of up to $1,200 for most working Americans and $500 for children. $300 billion in direct cash payments will be available for every American citizen earning less than $99,000 per year. That would be $3,400 very quickly for the typical family of four. It also expands unemployment insurance for an additional 13 weeks and boosts the benefits by $600 for up to four months. The plan contains nearly $400 billion in loans and grants to small businesses to keep workers on the payroll, plus another $500 billion in loans for major industries like the airlines. It also provides more than $130 billion for the nation's health care providers. The legislation now goes to the House, where leaders say it will be at least 24 hours before it takes it up. The president says he's ready to sign the stimulus package as soon as possible. The president is also stepping up his calls to get Americans back to work. By Easter, we'll have uh, a recommendation, and I'm not going to do anything rash or hastily. I don't do that. But the country wants to get back to work. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.